I like the Nissan Terra. It has some minor drawbacks, like the lack of adaptive cruise control and the power liftgate, but it's one of the more refined SUVs in its class. Its traditional SUV styling also appeals to me. Some say mukhang pang politician, and I agree. I also like what Nissan did with the interior. It's a vast improvement over the pre-facelift model, and I think it's one of the nicest in its class. Currently, we have six variants, including the new Sport, which comes in 4x4 and 4x2 variants. In this video, we're going to do a comparo among the variants. We're going to rank them based on how much value they offer for the money and how well they stack up against the competition. So, which variant is worth your money? Let's find out. <laughs> At last place is the Nissan Terra VE. The Terra VE is the most affordable automatic variant of the Terra. On the outside though, very few things give away the fact that this is a lower model. It looks almost like the Nissan Terra VL with the same quad LED headlights, the same 18 inch wheels, same chrome accents. It's when you go inside that you feel the cost cutting. You get hard plastics everywhere. You get a plastic steering wheel. You get fabric seats. Everything is manually adjustable. When it was launched back in 2021, it was okay, as its competitors then were similarly equipped. But now that it has new competition, like the Everest Trend, which comes with a full leather interior, power seats, a leather wrapped steering wheel, plenty of soft touch materials, large high resolution screens, and plenty of tech, the VE is up against some very stiff competition, which offer more for less money, and that's why the VE is in last place. The Nissan Terra VE sells for 1,889,000 pesos. That's 180,000 pesos more expensive than the lower priced EL. The VE and the EL look almost the same on the inside and the outside. The main difference, aside from the transmission, is that the VE comes with some ADAS features like automatic braking, lane departure warning, and blind spot warning. At 5th place is the Nissan Terra EL Manual. The Terra EL Manual has fewer competition as the Everest no longer comes in a manual variant. Compared to its competitors like the Fortuner G Manual, the Montero GLX Manual, and the MUX LSA Manual, it's not too badly specced. In terms of looks and interior quality, it is the same as the higher priced Nissan Terra VE. If you're looking specifically for a manual variant because that's what you prefer, then this is not a bad choice. But if you're thinking of getting a manual for the cost savings, again, the Everest trend is just 90,000 pesos more expensive. And aside from having an automatic transmission, it is also way better equipped. If you're looking to save money, you have a much, much cheaper option in the Montero GLX manual. At 4th place is the Nissan Terra Sport 4x4. The value offered by the new Terra Sport is really dependent on how much you like the color black and how much you dislike chrome. Because the Sport 4x4 and the Sport 4x2 are almost exactly the same as the VL 4x4 and the 4x2, except that a lot of stuff are blacked out. Most of the chrome has been blacked out, and instead of the two-tone maroon and black interior, you get an all-black interior. Now, personally, I really like the two-tone interior of the VL, but you may have a different opinion. The Sport 4x4 sells for 60,000 pesos more than the regular VL 4x4, and just a bit less than the Everest Titanium 4x4. It is a matter of preference, but I'll put this one in fourth place because it's a lot of money for just a change in color palette. The Terra Sport 4x4 sells for 2,459,000 pesos. That's 60,000 pesos more expensive than the VL 4x4. 
And for that price difference, you get a black interior, plenty of black accents, and you get slightly different 18-inch wheels, which are painted in gloss black. At third place is the Nissan Terra Sport 4x2. So I ranked it lower than the VL variants for the same reason as before. It's a lot of additional money for just a change in color scheme. It's ranked higher than the Sport 4x4 because at 2,119,000 pesos, the Sport 4x2 is not competing with the dominant Everest Titanium 4x4. Rather, it competes with the Everest Sport and the Titanium 4x2, which I think the Terra Sport beats in terms of features. The Terra Sport 4x2 sells for 2,119,000 pesos. That's 60,000 pesos more expensive than the Terra VL 4x2. And for that price, you get blacked out accents, a blacked out interior. The wheels are different. Uh, they're the same wheels as the ones that you get on the Navara, but painted in black. Again, whether that 60,000 peso price difference is worth it depends on how much you like the blacked out look. At second place is the Nissan Terra VL 4x4. The Nissan Terra VL 4x4 is the same as the Sport 4x4, except that you get a two-tone maroon and black interior, and you get a lot more chrome. It also sells for 60,000 pesos less. The VL has one of the nicest interiors in its class. It has a 360 camera. It also rides really well. Its main drawback is that it's the only SUV in this class that doesn't come with adaptive cruise control and also a power lift gate. And that's why it's in second place. The Nissan Terra VL 4x4 sells for 2,399,000 pesos. It's 340,000 pesos more expensive than the VL 4x2 and 280,000 pesos more expensive than the Sport 4x2. For that price difference, you don't get a lot of additional features. The VL 4x4 is almost the same as the VL 4x2, except for the 4x4 bits. And at first place is the Nissan Terra VL 4x2. The Nissan Terra VL 4x2 is almost the same as the Nissan Terra VL 4x4 in terms of features and looks. This also gets automatic emergency braking, blind spot warning, lane departure warning. It gets a 360 camera. It gets the same 9-inch screen. But it also lacks adaptive cruise control and a power lift gate. But at this price bracket, it is more forgivable to not have those features. I mean, the Everest Titanium 4x2 doesn't have adaptive cruise control either. So the Terra VL 4x2 doesn't stand out in this price bracket as the only one that doesn't come with that feature. The Terra VL 4x2 sells for 2,059,000 pesos. That's 170,000 pesos more expensive than the next door variant, the Terra VE. And for that price difference, you get a lot of additional stuff. You get leather wrapped power seats. The VE only gets fabric seats. You get a leather wrapped steering wheel. You get a lot less hard plastics. You get a larger and clearer 9 inch screen. You get a 360 camera. I'd say that price difference is definitely worth it. So that's how I would rank the different variants of the Terra. Based on how they're priced and how well they stack up to the competition. Some like the VL 4x2 is still quite competitive in its own price bracket. And others like the VE may need a spec sheet update or a price update soon.